how to record on the computer. Okay, so, nope, now I gotta move that so you can actually see that again. Okay, so I'm gonna take the cork off, take my, uh, uh, my nitric acid very carefully. I'm gonna pour it in and cork it so the gases produced don't escape here. So first of all, what do you see going on? We got green, pretty. And then what's going on up here? There's our gas, there's our NO2. So this is what is produced from cars because all you need is high temperatures to take the nitrogen in the air and combine it with the oxygen in the air to make NO2. That's why it's so easy to produce NO2. Okay, what's going on over here in this flask? It's turning yellow, it's turning acidic because the NO2, the gas, the only way it can go is in here. What happens when you mix NO2 plus H2O? You get back to nitric acid again. So in here, we're producing nitric acid, not as strong as this stuff, but we're still making nitric acid, which is turning the solution from red to yellow. Cool. Okay, if I put my hand on the bottom here, it's pretty darn warm. This is an exothermic reaction. So it gets really warm. Isn't that cool again? So we got the greens from the copper. We got the brown from the gas. You can actually see the gas in the tube as it's going around and then turning this yellow. I'm gonna mix that around a little bit. And so each bubble coming out is a brown bubble. How you guys still see that? Good, okay. So I'm still eating the pennies in here. The nitric acid is still turning the copper metal Cu into Cu plus two. That's what's making the pretty color because copper nitrate is the ion form. Didn't know you'd be getting a chemistry lesson today, huh? So we're turning Cu with its full set of electrons into Cu2 plus, which can now join together with the NO3 minus one to make CuNO3 two. So that's the green stuff at the bottom, copper nitrate, okay? But some of the nitrate breaks up, turns into NO2. So that's the brown nasty gas. Could you imagine what this would feel like breathing it in? Not very good, but this is what pretty much makes our air brown is this, but diffuse. So we got the brown gas, NO2 coming in here, mixing with the water to make HNO3. It turned it from red to yellow to show it's acidic again. Now, it's still reacting. The pennies are still going. So we gotta wait for the pennies to go. But like I said, this is a, an exothermic reaction, which means it's nice and warm and toasty. What happens to gases when they get warm and toasty? They, well, yes, they do evaporate. They expand. Okay, so the gas in here is filling up a big area because it's nice and warm. So what do you think is gonna happen if I say put this in an ice bath? What's gonna, it's gonna what? No, oh no, this is good glass. It can take it. <laughs> but what's gonna happen to the gas if I cool off the gas? It's gonna contract. So what is that gonna do to this little tube if the gases start shrinking? It's going to create a vacuum, right? Okay, the vacuum part is the cool part. So we've seen the majority of it, but the vacuum part is the cool part because it's going to start to shrink the gas, which is going to start to pull the solution in. And then all of a sudden it's like slow, slow. And then once it gets in, it just goes whoosh. And then it all comes in there and it makes a really pretty color change. So I'm going to try to cool it off a little bit. And then we'll start to see the liquid coming up. So do you see it? It's already rising. So all I'm doing is just cooling off the bottle. Okay, come on, it's getting there. There we go. <laughs> Isn't that cool? That's neat. And then you're left with, there's your the a little bit bluer now because it's it's uh, diluted but there's your blue copper so there's your copper nitrate 
but acid in there. <laughs> so that's not, I got to be careful with that one. I don't want to spill that on me, but yeah. So we got the water. We also have the indicator. A little bit of the indicator went back in here as well. And then we have our lovely copper nitrate. Yay, ta-da. So we made gas, we made the pollutant, NO2, and we made acid rain. So this is exactly what goes on in the atmosphere. So our car engines, which are really, really hot, put nitrogen and oxygen together to make NO2. The NO2 goes up into the air, mixes with water vapor up there to make HNO3, which then eventually, if you get enough water, it's gonna fall down in the form of rain. And now we have acid rain. Ta-da. <laughs> All right, let me stop the record on this. Okay, if I can find it again. Stop. It's not stopping. Did it stop? Stop.